Hey y'all, Josh and Aaron here for Fish Ohio Outfitters. And uh, the weather has been a little bit brutal. And since uh, we are big pansies and don't feel like cutting holes in the ice, we decided to stay inside today and uh, do a fish fry. Yeah. Some Lake Erie walleye, what better? Yeah. So why don't you get started with uh, your tartare sauce. Yeah, Aaron's gonna do the fried fish. I'm gonna do the tartar sauce portion, homemade tartar sauce. And I promise you, what, I'll tell you what guys, when you make this tartar sauce, you'll never buy the crap that they throw at you in the store ever again. You'll never touch it. This is 10 billion times better, I promise you. It's five simple ingredients. There's nothing hard about any of this. I have some sweet relish here. I've got minced garlic. I've got mayo. This is Duke's mayo that actually has olive oil in it, which I thought might be kind of cool to try. It doesn't have to have, it can be regular mayo. That's typically what I make it with. I've got a couple of lemons. Then I've got um, fresh ground black pepper. That's the only five ingredients I need to make this. Um, I've got everything measured out here and ready to go. So per batch, you can double batch, you can triple batch if you need to, if you got a big fry. But per batch, we're gonna do one cup of our mayonnaise. Just go ahead and slather that down in this pan here. So one cup of mayo. I wanna make sure that I get it all out there because that's, heck, that's the best part. All right, so we got our mayo down in there. We've got one half cup of our sweet relish. We're just gonna dump that in there. The lemon juice, you don't wanna go crazy on this. I have one eighth of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Make sure there's no seeds in there. And then the garlic, you wanna go pretty uh, slim on this too. You don't have to get carried away. About a half of a tablespoon is enough. We'll dump that in there. We'll go ahead and mix that up before we add our pepper. Because we wanna kinda of see the pepper, we're gonna do that sort of by color, just by look. So it's really easy just to mix this all up. The hardest part about it is the separation of the juice inside the relish versus the mayo. So you're just gonna make sure that you really get that whipped in there together. And you can see that I'm starting they get a nice tartar sauce born in a lab. That is going to be outstanding. We've pretty much got that pickle juice mixed up in there. And then the fresh ground black pepper. This is a preference. I like a lot. Some people like just a little. We'll start there. We'll get our black pepper mixed up in there. And I don't know what that took. Maybe Micah can tell me later, but I think that took all of about a minute, minute and a half to make up our fresh tartar sauce. You'll never buy the trash in the store again. And with that, we got some fresh walleye here that uh, I like doing it this way. Uh, an old Tennessee friend of mine taught me this trick. Cutting the walleye flays up, or whatever flays you got, cut them up into little pieces. Uh, more per square inch of crispiness after you fry it. Almost like nuggets. Instead of doing a whole fish and nuggets. Yeah, fish like a fish nuggets. Yeah. Uh, they store easy and you can, I mean, heck, the next day they fit good in a Ziploc bag, take them in the car and just pop them as you're going down the road. I've done that before. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so the recipe we got today is, is not a traditional recipe whatsoever. I was watching Jacob Wheeler fishing. Uh, and he was doing a small mouth tournament up on Lake Erie. And they were back at their house, you know, after the tournament, uh, day one, I think it was. So they're back there drinking some beers, cooking fish, and one of his guys had this recipe. So I had to try it. And it, it, it's great. So what you do is take, take your uh, some sour cream, put whatever seasonings you want in it. I already mixed up some, uh, some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, a little lemon juice. So what you do is you take that sour cream and just dump it on your fillets. Just trust the process here. It, it doesn't sound very appetizing. So we do that. I did wash my hands. So you take that, you're gonna do this part for me. 
I'm not gonna spring it. You're gonna sprinkle. So make sure all the fillets are completely covered in your sour cream mixture. Yes. So as you can see, they're all covered up, nice and wet. Put me some flour in there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right, that should be good. So take that up, and what you want to do is just keep on tossing and turning your fillets in the flour until there's no moisture left on the fillets, no sour cream left. Just keep mixing it up. And basically what you have is something that looks like, you know, a fillet that's just lightly breaded. So with that being said, you should take and put about six or seven in each one. Yeah. I would say probably let these fry anywhere from four to six minutes, depending on how crispy you like it to be. But uh, one nice thing about that mixture, you were saying you done. really can't overcook the mixture itself. You could overcook the fish if you were not careful but you don't have to worry about burning no. that batter. No, it, you'll, you'll, you'll hurt the fish before you hurt the batter. And the good thing about this mixture is it does not hold the oil. It's, it's not a heavy, a heavy batter whatsoever. Uh, we fried a couple up, you know, before this batch, so you can kind of see, um, I don't know how good well, the camera is. Well, that's just perfect flakery. And that is the most outstanding flavor. Guess him around and put it yeah. in front of the camera here. Show the camera how that that's just it's just not thick. It's not thick. Just a little bit. Down here, you guys can see what you're doing. What do you think? Put it in the old hat. Oh, you never think- I'm so glad we didn't go ice fishing today. This is way better. You, I mean, you wouldn't think sour cream and flour and whatever seasoning you want to put on it. No, it would be I that. Love how it's crispy, but not a ton of extra. It's still plenty. I'm getting the firmness of fried fish, but I'm getting to taste more of the fish. i be eating less batter. And I love it. We don't have an oil gut bomb sitting down there either. So, shout out to Jacob Wheeler. I've been holding all this up to you for a while. Very, very good stuff. Well, what are you gonna do? Put that over again. That was recording, right? Yes. Okay. What do you say, food porn? So recording. <laughs> Get your piece, hurry up. I mean, look at it. There you go. I mean, I don't know how long we had those in there. Grab your piece. But, uh... That was about... Four minutes. Four or five minutes. Something like that. So I'll tell you what, why don't you go ahead and mix the rest of this one up. What we got here is some Uncle Bucks, fish batter mix. I'll go ahead and fry the rest of these up while you're doing that combination. And all we did with this was we just added a little bit of Killian's, right? A little bit of Killian's beer on there and moisten the fillets. Kick that stuff around on that. There you go.
Grab your piece, where you at? Get your little nugget. We'll dope you up. There you go. Oh, the magic sauce. Pretty good. Very hot. Pretty good. So good. I'll say this, it's um, it's good enough that I can barely taste the $750 that I spent on crankbaits this year. Yeah? To catch it. And the $300 <laughs> of fuel for the boat. Well, that was one day, yes. <laughs> There's not gonna be any left for you, Craig. Right, you all Tell me that was on there too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta get the ranger out and go catch more. Ha, big. There you go. It's cooking 101. Love it. And that was pretty easy. That was really easy. We'll have a little bit more time in set up yep. and tear down, clean up than we probably will in actually making the fish. But um, yeah, overall, a great thing to do when it's extra cold out. And uh, I had a lot of fun and it's delicious. Yeah. So that's hard to go wrong with that. So guys, appreciate you checking this video out. We're probably gonna do some more of these in the future. We're kind of excited about mixing in some, some cooking videos here and there. Maybe not always fish. We might throw some, some other stuff in there. Maybe some pronghorn, Aaron says. But uh, we appreciate you checking this video out as always. And we look forward to uh, getting back to work and getting the next one out for you. Um, if you guys can subscribe to our channel, it helps us out a lot. Smash that like button and leave us a comment what you think down below. We will see you next time, guys. Hopefully see you on the water. Later.